Gutterman Group. Group is a go. Yes! <laughs> Not just a startup, an upstart. <sighs> Gotta get going. Gotta be good. Good? Good. Growth is the goal. How do we do that? I talked to UPS. They'll help us out. New technology, smart advice. We focus on the business, and they take care of the logistics. UPS. Good going. We get good. That's great. 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 <laughs> I love logistics. Welcome to another edition of Z360. I'm your host, David Sunsup. Coming up, Akron football dedicated its locker room to former offensive line coach Alan Tank Arrington, and we'll learn more about the men's soccer team's goalkeeper, Jake Fenlison. Goalkeeper Jake Fenlison came to Akron in 2011 all the way from San Diego. The redshirt junior didn't appear in a game his first three seasons until the MAC tournament last year, and he hasn't looked back since. It's actually been really interesting. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm from San Diego. I was actually born up north in Sacramento. And, you know, I, I came out here for my first visit and it actually poured just like it did last night against Michigan. And I was like, wow, this is going to be a rude awakening. And then when I came here in 2011, uh, we actually had a very calm winter, so it was actually pretty nice. And then after that, you know, I've I've kind of made this my home and Akron feels, you know, like home. And it's really nice being here. They came off from winning a national championship in 2010 and I came on my visit and, you know, I've, I felt like, you know, this could be the place that I make my career and, you know, it, it took a while to develop, but, you know, it, it happens and I, I just felt like, you know, Akron, it's a good place, you know, it's just going to strive for national championships every year and and that's what i want to do i'm a competitor i want to win and you know akron akron felt like the right place to be what does it mean to you to see those rowdies out there cheering you guys on every home game oh uh, it's it's special and i think they're like the best fans i've i've ever come across to be honest that's talking about pro pro atmospheres and and you know college atmospheres we've had to go on the road to some uh very tough opponents like new mexico and south florida where they they're supposed to have really intense fans but I don't think any of them have come even close to the Rowdies and I think that's that just shows true testament of uh, the students here at Akron and how how wonderful they are and how passionate they are about sports and especially us I mean um, you just can't ask for better fans so what's the coolest thing about walking on this field behind you and playing at First Energy Stadium? Uh, definitely the atmosphere. It's all about the atmosphere. You know, so many fans, uh, the history of the program. We've had so many pros. And you know, like, um, you know, DeAndre just went and played in the World Cup. And you go out there and you're like, I'm standing in the same spot he did uh, just a couple of years ago. And I can, I can be in the same spot as him in a couple of years. You know, you just never know. And I think that that's what it's all about at Akron is, you know, you coming from a program that's developing, you know, professional players and that's, that's where you want to be. Alan Tank Arrington spent two years as the Akron offensive line coach until he passed away this past December. Last week, the Zips honored their former coach by dedicating a plaque in the locker room in his honor. It's been a few moments uh, in appreciation for uh, uh, for Tank uh, and what he, he's meant to all of us. Y'all know that you know that last year as we uh, uh, got through the season and uh, talked about uh, what we could do as a school and for a, a program to uh, uh, just give you guys what y'all might want, what, what y'all might uh, want to make you make your time here better and more enjoyable. Uh, and and kind of I kind of put Tank in charge of it. And y'all know the story pretty much. And the two things that you guys said y'all like to have is let's do something in the uniforms. Let's do something a little different, you know. Uh, nobody's done much around here. He, he vowed to do that, find some people that might help us. And then also let's make our locker room someplace where instead of having to get through with the class or practice and go back to your apartment all the time and, uh, and then hope you can get a little shut out of there or have a time before, <coughs> before a class or between classes, we can make our locker room a place where you guys could come and be together uh, and relax and enjoy each other uh, and uh, and we become a better team, better family. 
and, and, and Tank said, I'll take care of that. Well, his, his life is full of some tough twists, and, uh, and uh, the good Lord took him away from us. And we all want to honor Tank uh, in perpetuity. Alan Tank Arrington was the associate head coach and office fly coach for the Akron Zips from 2012 to 2013. Whether he was taking food to an injured player or encouraging a backup that his time would soon come, no one loved the players more than Coach Tank. The last thing Coach Arrington wanted to do for our team was to provide a locker room environment that would make everyone feel like one big family. The entire Akron football family dedicates this locker room to our friend, man, mentor, and coach, Tank Arrington. Seeing all the guys, you know, I chose to come to a home and an away game because away games are just so much more intimate and you get to see all the players and the boosters and the fans and parents. I was actually standing in the lobby when the team got off the bus. So it was the first time I'd seen any of them since February. So that was really good. But I knew they were super excited about their new uniforms and the helmets looked really good on that sunny day. They were almost blinding, but they were really nice. What were your impressions of the locker room dedication? That was just so nice. You know, we had, we weren't here that long and it's not something that they had to do. So it was definitely a nice gesture. And he always wanted the, the best of the best for the players. And um, so he definitely wanted to make those improvements in the uniforms and the locker room. So it was nice to see that come to fruition. That wraps up this week's edition of Z360. Tune in next week as we'll have more great stories for you around Akron Athletics, including the story of Akron Football Offensive Coordinator A.J. Milley, the second youngest coordinator in the FBS. Thanks so much for watching. I'm David Suntup for GoZips.com.